one of the things that I really like is that Jim and I make the time to make breakfast together every morning. I love cooking with him. I really do. We, that's what we've done. That's how we've met. And we dance, you know, when we're in the kitchen. I first met Jim Milano in the summer of 2005 when I started working at Per Se. You're at the top of your game at that restaurant. It's very competitive. So the, my first reaction to Jen was, how do I be better than her? We used to go out after work a lot, and we became really good friends. I found myself really like confiding in him. I remember we went to the Heartland Brewery in Union Square, of all places, and I remember how natural it was for us to just kind of like, I was grabbing stuff off his plate, and we were laughing and giggling, and, and I just remember thinking like, wow, this is really easy. One week in March, um, Jim asked if I wanted to go up to Albany. She met my family, and it wasn't, meant to be like me bringing my girlfriend home. It was It was just a, here's a friend of mine from work. I think at that point is when I kind of solidified that here's a girl that I can split wings with and split a burger with and someone who can go home and meet my family and my family fell in love with her the first day. In May of 2006, Jim uh, was transferred to Bouchon to be the chef de cuisine and I stayed at Per Se you know, I knew my schedule was going to change. Her schedule remained that grueling 16-hour day, and mine was kind of a, a calm 12 hours. And so we would try to cross paths, you know, before I went to work or before he went to work. You no, know, we, I think we were totally in love at that point. You know, we were doing everything together that we could possibly could, and I. Like I'm sure she'll tell you, I slowly, slowly started moving into her apartment. She was living uh, on the Upper West Side. That was a labor. I think he said to me, you know, I know you said you don't want anyone living with you, but you do. And then that, that was it. And I said, well, okay. Then he broke his lease. If we can work that 16 hours a day together and have that crazy schedule and also live in a box and not, uh, not freak out on each other, I think we realized that's kind of a testament to our, the strength of our relationship with them. Jim came home one day and said, I really want a boat. And I thought she was going to say no when I, you know, required a big commitment. She said, you know, just do it. Just, just get it. Why not? It'll be fun. And it wasn't because of the boat, but it just made me realize that here's someone that just ultimately wants me to be as happy as I possibly can. This is someone that I need, I need to be with more than just I want to be with someone I need to spend the rest of my life with. So we took it out last year in August. And we were we had plans to go to Block Island for a week and then to Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, and Newport. I think it was the second day that we were out there. We went out for dinner. Um, and prior to going out for dinner, Jim said, you know, I really want to go to a nice beach or something. And I'm, I was starving. And, you know, we were at this marina and we, I, got, I thought she was going to find the ring. So I, I took it and put it in my pocket. He said, I really want to see the sunset which I thought was totally bizarre at that point. I was like, you want to see the sunset? It was a little bit cheesy, but it was one of those perfect moments. He kind of turned around and got down on his knee, and I think he, he said, I, you would make me the happiest man if you would agree to be my wife. And I just started crying immediately. I, didn't, I was just crying, and yes, and we were both crying and hugging, and, and all. it must have been a good three minutes later where he said, do you, oh, do you want to see the ring? And he asked my dad, which was really, really special to me because my dad is totally my hero. And which was probably the scariest point in my entire life, I think up to this date. I think scarier than actually asking her. <laughs> so you'd ever see him married? Honestly, no, I'm not. No. I'm really not. But, you know. You're going to cry. I'm definitely going to cry. <laughs> <laughs>